Hey guys, it's Shelfie, and today on The Crafty Koopa, we are making piranha plant models. for our Perona plant models are styrofoam balls. I'm using the two inch, a two and a half inch? Yeah, two and a half inch version. You'll need a knife to cut into those. Acrylic paints. We have red, green, orange, black, and white for the regular piranha plant, and then the fire version piranha plant, or terracotta pot. I am using the longer version here because this is more like the pipe that they come out of. Paint brushes, of course, uh, Foam paint brushes are always good for dabbing the paint, which is the best way to paint the styrofoam. You will need some model magic. White model magic is the way to go. You can also use any other air drying clay, but I feel that model magic is easiest to work with, and since we're hot gluing it down, we don't need it. We don't need to worry about it falling off because that's what it has a tendency to do. You'll need some foam paper and some scissors. I just have a little sampling here since you won't need that much. Green pipe cleaners, you will need seven for each plant that you're making. Hot glue gun, be careful. This is uh, kind of dangerous along with the knife. Glue gun sticks and make sure that you get the appropriate stick for whichever size glue gun you have. Uh, these are really fun to make, but disclaimer, this is a really, really messy craft because it involves hot glue for once and uh, yeah, styrofoam is not very clean. So let's get started with the things we'll need. Our first step is to make cuts into our styrofoam. So one of them is going to be the head of our piranha plant and the other one is going to be the space inside this terracotta pot so that we can place the plant inside essentially. Start with the head. You want to find the center of one of the styrofoam balls and cut outward. I'm not strong so if it looks like I'm struggling semi with the knife I am. And then you want to cut, you just want to make it look like Pac-Man basically. You want to cut it's like a slice of pizza. That's the best thing I can describe it as. A slice of pizza. And you lose your little Pac-Man. Um, yeah, he's really cute. You can clean up the inside too. Mine tends to be a little uneven, so I just I make it even in the back, you know. This edge doesn't need to be perfect because the piranha plant has big old lips, so we're gonna kind of be covering up that edge, but it's always nice to clean it up, and that is what your piranha plant head should look like. Our next cut will be a base inside of the piranha plant pipe, and basically you're just gonna cut the top off, you're gonna go halfway, go a little bit above halfway, and just cut the top off. Oh, okay. <laughs> No dents in the table. Okay. And then you can just clean up that edge so that it's nice and flat. Next step to making our piranha plant models is to paint every piece, basically. So for our piranha plant pipe, we want green paint. It's like a light green. And I find that three coats works best to make it the purest of green. And then you also want to get the inside in here, too just so that when the base goes in, it's gonna leave a little bit of space, just so that that part is green as well. For your piranha plant head, you want to kind of dab the outside with the paint, and we're gonna do black for the fire version, of course, and red for the regular version, and you only need one coat because this will absorb the paint. It kind of acts like a sponge. You also need to press it down in there to get all the little fine impurities. There's going to be a lot of little white dots in there. And for your base, you want to kind of mix green and black to make a darker green. Not too much black because black is a very strong color. You could also put red in too because that makes brown and that will neutralize and darken the green. So you want to do like a dark green on the top and then you can do a black on the sides a little bit too. That semi adds to the darkness inside the pipe.
think he needs it. So, some pro tips for when you paint your base, uh, your darkness of the piranha plant pipe, I don't know what to call it. You want to put the green on first, right? Put the dark green on. And then if you want to make it even look more dark, you can layer the black that you put on the edges over the top of the green. And that's how I really got like this dark green as if you're going into the pipe. So that's what I did for my base. Another pro tip, when you wash out a foam brush, a foam brush absorbs all the paint that you didn't use. So you want to rinse it until, rinse and squeeze until the water runs clear. Because if you do not do this, a foam brush can easily cross contaminate into your other paints and you could end up getting green mixed with red, which would just be brown and that's not very good. Your pieces may also take a little bit of a while to dry simply because the piranha plant heads are made of styrofoam and you just pushed paint into all the crevices so it's kind of like a wet sponge in a way but they will eventually dry so long as you put one coat on them. <laughs> to prepare stems you're going to want to take four of your green pipe cleaners per stem and you're just going to want to twist them together so make sure they're all evenly lined up just twist them together it doesn't really matter how because they will be covered on the outside once you are finished once you have your stem assembled you want to take one pipe cleaner per leaf and two to leaves per piranha plant. So to make a leaf, what I do is first I'll fold the pipe cleaner in half and create a point at the end. Then each of these are like two legs, I guess, and you take, you make another point with this leg, put the right, and do the same on the left. So once you've made three points like this, then you take the ends together and you twist. Make sure there's no gaps between them. You twist them together. So now we have the top of our leaf. And you take, you make some more points. Make a point on the right and a point on the left. And this is all just by folding over. And then twist them together. You want your second points to be the biggest. That's how it goes. It's like small spike, big spike, small spike, point at the top. And then finally you do it once more. So here's our piranha plant leaf and you just repeat these steps to make a singular leaf as many as you need for as many piranha plants as you're making. Remember, two per piranha plant. Once your base color for your piranha plant head has finished drying, we're going to paint these spots and the inside of the mouth. So the inside of the mouth, I use, I create like a dark pink, kind of like this color, and then I mix in some black. And again, what I do is I put the black in the back as well and blend it outwards. So it'll be really black right in the center, right in the back, right there, and then it'll just radiate outwards. But first I use the dark pink mixed with a tiny little bit of black. Just like that much on the tip of your brush. It's just, it's a really strong color, so it grays everything decently fast. So you just dab on the inside there, yeah. It's like a dull dark pink is what you're aiming for. So finally, your last bit of painting for your piranha plant head is to just paint the spots. You want white for your regular piranha plant and a dark orange for your fire piranha plant. 
and they're kind of random in size, number, location, so you can just paint wherever you want. Um, paint, paint away the spots. Next, we're going to be cutting out foam teeth, and a piranha plant's teeth are definitely sharp, of course, and kind of thin. They're not, they're not very like triangular in a sense like this. They're triangular in a sense like, like, like this. That's how I can explain it. But you're going to want to cut a pointy, thin triangle. Once you cut one, you can use that as your reference for the rest so that they look uniform. Uh, here's mine. I need to make mine a little bit thinner. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It looks like this. Uh, it's very small. So what I will do is I'm just going to line it up on the foam paper and cut around it. So our next step, once you're waiting for your markings on your pear plant head to dry, you want to stab, I guess is the only word, you want to stab the pipe cleaners through the base, so right in the center, you just want to like drill downwards. It helps to twist sometimes, and you will also need to like make your ends to like keep twisting your ends into a point. It's annoying and it takes a long time. But this is the best way to do it. So once you feel that you are very close to connecting the two ends of your section of the base where your stem will go through, um, you can just use the scissors and clear any clear it up in there. Make sure that there's room for the stem to go through. And then once there is, you just want to take it and go all the way through. Woo! And then you do that to the rest of your plants. So take your hot glue gun and you want to put hot glue all the way around the edges here. And stick it right into your base. Right at the bottom of the terracotta pot. And it's very firm in there. You need to do this fast too, within 15 seconds because it dries really, really fast. And then you can just stick your base soil darkness in there and it should look just like this. So, we're gonna do that to our other uh, piranha plant. Once all your spots have dried and once your the inside of the piranha plant mouth has dried for both of them, you want to attach their teeth. So piranha plants have five teeth on the top row and four teeth on the bottom row. And I recommend starting with the top row because that will let you evenly space out your teeth for the bottom row. So first you want to attach a tooth right in the center of the top of the mouth because they have one right in the center and then place two on the left on evenly and two on the right evenly and then you want to place your bottom teeth in the spaces that the top teeth make. Next, you want to make um, lips for the piranha plants. So, you get out your model magic. Knead it up a little bit. Doesn't really need to be kneaded that long because it's, um, it's model magic. It's really easy and soft to work with. So, I just try and like roll it out and make the shape. 
and I recommend gluing the center first and then going outward from there. So measure up. It's got to be kind of long. It feels a little odd, but like it feels oddly long, but when you look at it on the plant, it makes perfect sense. So your final step for your piranha plant is to t uh, attach it and then stick on your leaves. So to attach, you want to lightly face the piranha plant up like it would in the old SNES games and stab just a little bit of the way in and then use your hot glue gun to really stabilize it. That is your piranha plant model and just in case, uh, I forgot to mention this, but make sure that you reinforce your stem with another pipe cleaner that you just wrap around the stem. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Crafty Koopa. If you want to see more, subscribe right here to the Nintendo Enthusiast channel and you will get updated whenever we upload a video. We got a lot of cool, cool shows. Go check them out. If you want to see more of me, you can go to my channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash shelfie and co. And that's where I do Nintendo themed vlogs, Pokemon TCG, merchandise, little mini game reviews. It's a bunch of random Nintendo stuff. So go over there if you want to see me.